Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and I'm gonna start the week off with a fruit platter. These days, I am in this phase where I like to slice fruit, so I'm gonna show you guys how I make my lovely platter. Here I have a sliced up nectarine. I decorated it with some blueberries, and in my ramekin, I've got a little bit of Chobani Greek yogurt, and then I topped it with goji berries and cacao nibs. All right, let's have a bite, shall we? Mmm. I cut my hair. I'm having the leftover Pad Ki Mao that we ordered over the weekend. I just kind of remixed it and I added some zucchini, some broccoli, and I'm also having it with a little bit of brown rice. Also, yes, I got a haircut. I have a short bob now. I'm obsessed. Mmm. <gasps> oh, so good. This is leftover city. We've got the leftover pasta from Ben's lunch. We've got some steamed broccoli and this eggplant Parmesan. This looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. For breakfast, I'm having two rice cakes topped with avocado and some tomatoes. And on the side, I'm having a cucumber radish salad. I was just craving something quite crunchy but refreshing, and it is hot here in LA. So this is exactly what my body was craving. I'm very excited to try these new rice cakes. I've been seeing them all over like Instagram, and so I wanted to try it myself. So here we go. Wow, that's pretty damn good. It just tastes like an avocado toast, but these rice cakes have a lot less carbs and calories than bread. Let's try this salad now. Mmm. So for lunch, we have halloumi cheese. We have some fake chicken some carrots, some celery, some buffalo sauce, and some ranch. Ranch. <laughs> I like how you call it fake chicken. Ficken. Ficken. Mmm. Mm. The air fryer is so good at making things crunchy. Mm-hmm. Air fryer is good because it's just a, a faster oven, really. Mm-hmm. You get the crispiness, you know? Put it in the microwave, it gets soggy. Halloumi is one of our favorite cheeses. Ben is the one who told me about it. It's like yeah. a salty cheese. It's like buttery and salty, mm -hmm. but it's, you just fry it plain. And yeah, if you eat it quick, it's just gooey. Oh, it's lovely, but. For dinner, we ordered from Kombu, which is a Japanese restaurant. I got myself a shirashi bowl. I got some veggie gyozas and salmon roll. Look at it, lovely. Lovely. Mmm. Mm. Love a bit of miso. How do I cut a mango? Another morning, another fruit platter. Here I have sliced up mangoes, some blueberries, my Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt topped with goji berries and cacao nibs. I never realized how difficult it was to chop a mango. Hmm. You know, practice makes perfect.
for lunch, I have my brekkie bowl, but instead of breakfast, I'm having it for the afternoon. This is actually quite a savory dish regardless. I just got back from my shoot and I wanted to have a sweet little treat. So I'm having an Earl Grey scone from yesterday from Sugarbirds, and I have a little bit of clotted cream to spread on. I just put it in the air fryer for five minutes so it's nice and hot. Yo, I'm freaking stoked for this. Mmm. It's so good. Wow. This is incredible. Ben just made us dinner. We're having a, I guess, Mexican night. He made the usual poblano bean mix. We've got some corn, lettuce, guac, mashed beans. Also, our friend Andy made this pulled chicken, which I will also be eating, so I'm very excited. So I just made myself a little wrap here, and I'm going to have a delicious bite now. For breakfast, I am having two rice cakes topped with avocado and everything but the bagel seasoning. And on the side, I'm having the like kind of Mediterranean cucumber tomato salad. This is a combination that works really well together. It's absolutely delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It's so crunchy. I was inspired by this leftover chili in the fridge, so I decided to heat it up. I put it on top of two cheddar rice cakes. I also have a bed of red lettuce because then I can just make chili wraps. But I wanted to see how they tasted on these rice cakes first. Mmm. Whoa. And then for my lettuce wraps, I'm just gonna grab a piece of lettuce. I'm gonna put some veggie bean chili. Mmm. Mm. I actually prefer it with just the wraps, actually. No, go away. I'm hoping you'll say something. I keep on just feeling it's nothing. Wanna make you mine? Something. These drugs don't really solve nothing. I'm hoping you'll say something. I keep on just feeling it's nothing. Wanna make you mine? Something. These drugs don't really solve nothing. Spoil the story, I'm like, bro. You know we die in the end. All right, folks, this is my delicious and nutritious dinner. I just made this tinjang jjigae extremely nutrient dense. I put a crap ton of kale, and of course, I have my little thing of brown rice. This is gonna be great. I had a very long day of work today, so I just want something very comforting. I want a hug, but in my stomach. So this is the meal, baby. Oh. <laughs> mm? Mm -hmm. Are you ready for this? No, okay. Okay, he's going so fast. Dude, I don't like this. There's so much of the watermelon that I just can't get out of here. For breakfast, I am having a bunch of cubed watermelon and some cherries. Mmm. 
It's so hard to get a bad watermelon. Mm. For lunch, I'm having the last bits of my kale, tenjang jjigae. I did not put enough water when I made this, so there's like barely any soup left. So to add some more flavor, I'm going to put some sriracha. I love to squirt a little bit in my tenjang jjigae when I want some extra flavor. Now it's just become like this very hearty stew. Mm. Hey, you're chill, it's just a trap. Yeah. She a little bad. Hit her with the bag. Yeah. Put it on the tab. Don't know how to act. Yeah. How you like that? How you like that? She a little bad. It's a little. Mm. Yeah. Dang, girl. You got me head over heels with it. Hey, dang, girl. fruit platter train. I've got one sliced papaya and a little ramekin of the usual non-fat Greek yogurt topped with goji berries and cacao nibs. I actually saw a question asking how I eat a papaya and it's very simple. You just slice it and then you get a spoon and you, you're actually supposed to remove these little seeds, but the seeds just look more photogenic. You know, it gives the papaya a little extra oomph. And then you just get a spoon and then you scoop it out. Mmm! Oh my goodness. It's so sweet. So my lunch unexpectedly took a turn. I was just gonna make my brekkie bowl, but I just jazzed it up by adding some cucumber and some kimchi, and I put it in a bigger bowl. And just like the presentation makes me feel like I'm eating something completely different. You guys, I'm giving this a new name. This is no longer the brekkie bowl. This is called the soul bowl. Mmm, mmm. Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no more Lay me down behind the moon Tell me you'll be on real soon I don't wanna wait no more We could be dancing in the stars We could be floating all the way As long as I'm safely in your arms and it don't really matter where we stay Don't pass, babe Space makes me sad Cause Guys, for dinner, we have a pad si u, but instead of the noodles, I swapped it out for my spaghetti squash. On the side, I've got uh, fried tofu. This was my first time frying it, and it was definitely a lot trickier than expected. Ooh, this looks good. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Just finished a nice yoga, and I've come in to a lovely patsy ooh, fresh style. <laughs> it was my first time frying it. 
Mmm, mm. dude, that's good. Mmm, mm. that's great. Spaghetti squash. That's great with this. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Really, I wouldn't change anything other than yeah, just in the tofu longer. Yeah, right. Oh, thank you. It's a hit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here I have one large orange sliced up. We've added some blueberries, and then of course I've got my little ramekin of non-fat Greek yogurt. But this time I added hemp seeds on there, just as an experiment. I feel like it's gonna be good though. Oranges and blueberries are a great combo. Mmm, I'm gonna try this now. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I love the goji berries because they kind of taste like they kind of taste like gummy bears. For lunch, I'm having leftovers of the patsy ew, but this time I added a bit of brown rice. I have a side of kimchi and some seaweed. I think it'll be good. All right, let's give this a go. Mmm, I'm gonna get a bed of seaweed, throw some rice and kimchi, maybe a little bit of the spaghetti squash. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. All right, for my mid-afternoon snack, I'm having two cheesy rice cakes. Uh, one of them, I spread a little bit of ricotta and dill, and one I'm just having plain. This is an experiment. I don't know if it's good, so let's give it a bite. Mmm. The dill definitely brightens up this rice cake. So for dinner, we have a white sauce shrimp linguine with zucchini strips. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Mm. This is ridiculous. Mm, that's good. <laughs> if we had parsley, I think that would help. I put a little bit of spaghetti squash in mine just to kind of mix it up, mm. make it more voluminous. Voluminous? Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm. Here's my nose. 